A place further than the universe is one of the most impactful anime to come out recently, especially if you consider how it was only a short 12 episodes, and instead of being about these larger-than-life heroes, it was about these ordinary girls, but who were doing extraordinary things. It was a show all about embracing adventure, doing impossible things, and the joy of friendship that is made along the way. From the very first episode, it captured the anime community, seeing these characters who refused to live ordinary lives. While there is debate if the show actually lived up to this initial hype, that's not what I want to talk about today. Instead, I want to look at the lessons it teaches about friendship and adventure, and how these reflect some of my own recent journeys. Specifically, my trip to Akon about a week ago, and everything that led up to it. If you did not know, Akon is an anime convention held in Fort Worth, Texas that I have been to for the last three years. However, I live in Ohio. These are about a thousand miles apart. And well, certainly this is not the same as going to Antarctica, it was quite a trip and these past few years have taught me a lot. One of which is to always carry a backup pack for your cell phone when you're traveling because your car charger will either die or you forget it or your car just won't like it for whatever reason and then you'll be stranded without a charged cell phone and Jason will wonder what happened to you. Though that's not the point of this video. Besides that, the things that make these journeys great are the people that we meet along the way and get to have them with. One of the main themes of A Place Further Than the Universe is how the friendship between the characters grow over time. At the start, they're just starting to get to know each other. They had a similar goal, but not the real deep bond. So over the episodes and how time passed for them, they ended up becoming best of friends. And this is how life is too. Throughout life, we're just naturally drawn to some people, like we sit next to them at school or work in the same place as them, and bonds do naturally form. But these aren't the type of long-lasting bonds that will endure when someone moves or graduates or whatever. But the girls who are the focus of the story have something more uniting them, and that is the adventure that they are going on, along with the challenges that they face along the way. Because it is the difficult times that turn companions into true friends, whether the challenge is making their way to Antarctica as in the anime, or trying to navigate through the traffic and construction of Fort Worth as with my life. These are the times that are remembered and that form true friendship. One of my favorite scenes in A Place Further Than the Universe is when the girls are getting seasick on the boat on the way they are throwing up over the side during the bad storm. But despite of all this, they are laughing. This is what friendship is all about, laughing in spite of the pain because they have this together and they are making memories even if it's not exactly a good situation at the time. I also love how the show illustrates the desire to do these crazy things, to take chances, and just to live a non-ordinary life. But while there was this grand goal in the end, this desire to go to Antarctica, there are also these small moments where the characters just had to have the courage to take a small step forward even if they weren't sure where it would lead. It really is the small steps that change your life too. Whether it's just like posting a video on YouTube, not knowing what you're doing, or agreeing to be part of a podcast that may soon die, or choosing to follow someone with a crazy idea. And all this makes me think of my own life and the decisions that I have to make for my future. There are a couple of paths that I could take. One is ordinary. It is one that I know, I understand, and it's in all accounts a good path. But it's not perfect, and there are things that I would miss if I just take that path. Then there's another one. It's scarier. It's less certain. There are a million things that could go wrong if I take that path, and I might regret it if I do. But there's still something there that I want to go after. It's the path that I want to take a step toward. Not commit to anything, not do anything that can't be undone. But I don't want an ordinary life because I'm afraid to change. If I can have something more, I want to take it. So, throughout my journey to Akon, throughout a place further than the universe, I have learned that sometimes these scary paths are the ones I should take. I don't have it all figured out. I don't know if this is the right answer. But I want to take a step, see what happens, and then maybe take a second step. I'm curious to see what will happen.